gleaming face of a man who took his fight to the country's highest court and won. This is a major day for the rights of disabled people. Catching the bus is a fundamental thing that most people expect to be able to do. Doug Pawley brought his case in 2012 after he couldn't board a bus in Yorkshire when a mother with a pram refused to move. Today, the Supreme Court ruled that bus drivers must do more to help disabled passengers by pressuring non-wheelchair users to vacate the designated wheelchair space when reasonable. If somebody is selfishly and unreasonably being in the space and um, they, you know, there's no Ex, you know, ex, extra special reason that they're in there because there's always exceptions. The, the, the bus driver has to insist that they move, tell them it's company policy they move, and then if they don't, then refuse to move the bus. Do you think that's strong enough because that leaves the onus on bus drivers to decide when something is unreasonable? Bus drivers already have to decide what's unreasonable all the time. And what the justices said was that they don't feel that this should be a very difficult thing for drivers to have to make a judgment on. We spoke to one wheelchair user about some of the problems she's faced when using public transport. And it happened to me a lot of times. And I've been accused, I've been abused, I've been called by a little creature, wheelchair user. And to me, it's like, I only want to travel on a bus, I don't need all that. A few minutes later, Kurdistan tried to board a bus with an empty double buggy on board. The bus driver moved it, but then this happened. Campaigners may have won in court today, but this shows it could be very difficult to enforce. Olivia Kinsley, 5 News.